Hey everyone, I'm Miles Brennan Quinn here at Chrysler Center following Michigan's 72-69 win over Penn State in a game that it trailed by as many as 14 points uh, in the second half. And this was a, the, the perfect example of the difference that seniors can make when it comes to winning and losing games. Penn State is one of the youngest teams in the Big Ten. Uh, it's heavily reliant on freshmen. Uh, its lead player is uh, Shep Gardner, who's a junior, but beyond that, he is the oldest player on that Penn State team. And for 30-something minutes tonight, Penn State looked uh, probably as good as Coach Pat Chambers could have hoped in this game. Uh, they were out working, out hustling, out playing Michigan in nearly every regard, uh, basically just plowing through them uh, on defense and getting whatever they wanted uh, on the offensive end of the floor. When it came down to winning time, one team was a little bit older and had two senior guards who have been in situations like this, been in Big Ten games, felt the pressure of what the last 10 minutes feels like in an arena like this that tonight wasn't even that particularly full, but it generates energy in, in conference games that anyone who's been around uh, league basketball understands. And Penn State had a lot of players that didn't understand that. Um, Derek Walton and Zach Irvin combined for 22 second half points and six assists. They had two turnovers, but that's combined in uh, nearly 40 minutes of action. One played 19 minutes, the other played 18. Uh, so two two turnovers by your two lead ball handlers in that amount of time is not bad at all. But then 22 points and six assists, obviously huge in generating this. Now, Duncan Robinson was a guy who is a, a red shirt junior who played a full season last year and played a division three college basketball season before that. He, he seemed comfortable, he, he was, you know, not not scared to take shots when, when they arose uh, in, in some key moments there to help kind of pivot the game. And and that was the difference, really. Uh, Pat Chambers talking in his press conference after it said, you know, our turnovers down the stretch were the key difference uh, in this game turning around. And those key turnovers were really a result, I think, uh, of an experience uh, in, in a situation like this. So, you know, Michigan for so long now has been wanting to be reliant on Derek Walton and Zach Irvin in the closing stretches of games. And tonight, it worked out. Against Iowa, it very nearly worked out. There was a very similar final 10 minutes of that game where, where Michigan was making key shots and making key plays, and a lot of it was from Irvin and Walton, but they came one defensive possession short in that one. Tonight, they made a number of defensive stops in the closing minutes, partially because of their own good defense and partially because Penn State uh, really did not play well to, uh, to, to close this game in the final five, eight minutes. Uh, they really came undone, missed some free throws, uh, missed the front end of one, and uh, that's a backbreaker. So um, Michigan, Michigan will take it because this was a game that uh, if it went on as an L and they fell to 0-2 in the league with a home loss to Penn State, uh, there'd be some major, major questions and conversations about the direction of this team this season. But now, 1-1. One and, one. and with Maryland coming to town on Saturday, Michigan will be favored in that one for a chance to go to 2-1. and one. And then from there, who knows? So um, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, Michigan closes out Penn State to win 72-69. And as always, thanks for watching.